I'm the Calculus Professor and today I'll be talking to you about Taylor Series. In problem number 21, we'd like to find the first four non-zero terms of the Taylor Series for the function f of x equals sine of x. Then we'll write the power series using summation notation. And in this case we're going to use that a is equal to pi over 2. All right. So like I've been saying in previous problems, the first thing that we want to do when we find a Taylor series is we just want to write down the function and then take a bunch of derivatives of that function. So let's start there. So I'm going to write down my function f of x is equal to sine of x. And then let's take some derivatives of that function. So f prime of x is equal to cosine of x f double prime of x is equal to negative sine of x, f triple prime of x is equal to negative cosine of x, and f quadruple prime of x is equal to, well, sine of x and the pattern repeats. Okay. Second thing I want to do is I want to plug in whatever the a value is to all of these derivatives. We know in this case we want to use that a is equal to pi over 2. So my a value in this case is pi over 2. So I want to plug pi over 2 in to each of these derivatives. So I want to know what is f of pi over 2, what is f prime of pi over 2, what's f double prime of pi over 2, and what's f triple prime of pi over 2, and what is f quadruple prime of pi over 2. Okay, let's plug these things in and see what we get. Uh, if we plug in pi over 2 to sine of x, sine of pi over 2 is 1. So we get 1. Uh, if we plug in pi over 2 to cosine of x, we get cosine of pi over 2, which is 0. If we plug in pi over 2 to so a negative sine of pi over 2, we get negative sine of pi over 2, which is negative 1. Uh, then we plug in pi over 2 here, and we get negative cosine of pi over 2, which is negative 0, or 0. And then finally we get sine of pi over 2, which is 1 again. So we see that we have a pattern here with these derivatives. We get 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and so on. All right, so now if I want to write out my function f of x as a Taylor series, then the first thing that I want to write is I want to write f of a. Okay, so f of a in this case is f of pi over 2. f of pi over 2 is 1. So I get 1 over 0 factorial times x minus pi over 2 to the 0th power, which of course is 1. But we'll clean it up in a second. Uh, plus, now the second term is just going to be 0 because f prime of pi over 2 is 0. So the x to the first term, or the x minus pi over 2 to the first term, I should say, is just going to be 0 because of this guy. So I'm just going to skip it. The third term is going to be minus 1 over, remember the first one is 0 factorial, the second is 1 factorial, this one is two, over 2 factorial, times x minus pi over 2 quantity squared. Then I skip the 3 factorial term, the 4 factorial term will be equal to positive 1 over 4 factorial times x minus pi over 2 to the fourth. So that's three positive terms. The last one would be minus 1 over 6 factorial times x minus pi over 2 to the sixth. Now if we wanted to clean that up a little bit, it would look like this. 
This whole thing is just one. This guy is, I get negative one over two factorial times x minus pi over two squared. And that's about as good as it gets. Uh, similar for the rest of these guys, I get plus one over four factorial times x minus pi over two to the fourth minus one over six factorial times x minus pi over two to the sixth and so on. So uh, here we have the first four non-zero terms of the Taylor series. Now, what if we wanted to write this Taylor series as a summation? Let's do that right over here. We get sum in going from zero to infinity. First thing I see here is it does alternate. So we would need a negative one to the n power. It starts with a positive, so starting in at zero is right. On the bottom, I get a uh, not an n factorial because not every n shows up. Only the even ones do. So on the bottom, I want two n factorial, which will guarantee me that just the positive number, I'm sorry, the even integers show up on bottom. Then I get x minus pi over 2 raised to, well, every even power, 0, 2, 4, 6, and so it's x minus pi over 2 to the power 2n. And we are done. This is our um, power series using summation notation, and this is the first four terms written out.